Hello everybody and welcome! Today I just wanted to quickly show you something I discovered, which is a new mod and it's called the Restock mod. Well, basically what it is, it's a reskin of 150 parts in Kerbal Space Program and what they did here is a beautiful job. If you look here, you can see very closely on the top of the command pod that there is now some sort of hatch mechanism going on and also in the back. This lines up nicely with the also changed uh, hitchhiker storage container, which have now way more detailed surfaces. I really hope you can see this in the video. And also these uh, hatch uh, textures on the back. Basically what they did was they kept the original models and just did some reskinning of how they should look like. And this results in something very beautiful, which is this. Look at that. If you remember uh, the original models and original textures, these uh, 1.25 meter parts you wanted to attach on the top of a command pod, they never really aligned, right? But now, look at that. And you also have the information what type of parachute it is in writing, and not only just the color code, which is a nice thing to have, at least in my opinion. Then this theme continues towards the docking ports. Look at that, we attach a docking port over here. And once again, same styling for the hatch mechanism and also we can see a lot more detail going on on the docking port itself. Now, this is really great because this does not break any stock vehicles, this does not break your stock game but it enhances it very much because now you have a uh, way more, a lot more beautiful parts to work with. I mean, look at this uh, shielded docking port. There you go. There is so much going on in here. Wow. But now let me, uh, let me go to one of my favorite parts. Look at those shiny textures for the external golden tanks. They basically took the the thing that they did on the Stay Putnik Pro Core and expanded it for these type of things. And we now have variants. Look at that. Can be silver and can be gold. Beautiful. But there is also something I would like to show you. So this is just a standard tank. They added a bit more texture uh, detail to it. It's way more going on than with the original. And they added a basic blank metal thing. But what's really striking me as very well done is what they did to the old engines, mainly the skipper and the mainsail. <laughs> That's how the mainsail now looks like. And it now also has variants. You can configure it as a boat tail or compact engine. And if you do it as a compact engine, you could stick it to one of those newfangled 1.8 meter or 1.5 meter tanks. And now they also did something to the skipper. Where is it? There it is. Uh, the skipper is a lot smaller than the mainsail, of course, but it also now has this boat tail. Nice for ending a rocket. Or compact mode, which is... Well, this does not make sense, but it fits. It now fits on the smaller nodes. Well, that's nice. Similar thing to the swivel engine, also with a boat tail and with a compact bare bones thing. Does this fit now on a 0.6 whatever tank? Uh, one of these Oscar fuel tanks, there we go. They also were redesigned if you have a close look at it. And... Not really, but you can see how this could work. And same thing also with the Reliant, the non-gimbal version of that engine, also in compact mode. And look at that, you have the uh, you have the the number on top of it, 30, because it's the LVT30 engine, and we have the 45 on here on the swivel, because it's the LVT45 engine. Do we have a 15 and a uh, M3 on those things here somewhere? 
Maybe there is. I have not looked that deeply into it, but look at that detail of the engine. I mean, you remember how that mainsail looked earlier, right? Now it looks really great. And the Poodle engine now has four exhausts instead of two, and also has a compact mode, which is rectangular for some reason, I don't know. And also something they did to the Rhino. Look at that! This is now the 3.75 meter vacuum engine that uh, was introduced with the 3.75 meter parts and it now also has a compact variant. Look at that! And also look at the plumbing going from... Oh, I copied that. Look at the plumbing going from the node into the, uh, the top part. It goes into uh, the part you attach it to, which is nice because engines not really end at the attachment point. Same thing with the vector, they kept it uh, almost like it was, but they added all that additional plumbing over there. Okay, there is more detail on the engine bell, with some nice caution labels now in red. But if you detach it a little bit, you can see all these inner workings going on. I mean, look at that. Got the turbo pumps and combustion chamber thing going on. You now have a really, really nice looking engine over here. Look at me fawning over decals, basically. <laughs> also, the rapier engine now looks less like a warning sign, but more like a real engine and will integrate more nicely. And the nerve has been slimmed down, as it seems. This is basically a first look at this mod. I have not yet decided whether or not I will switch my installation completely to it, but I am very much tempted to do so. I mean, the new lander can was nice to begin with, but they really knocked it out of the park with, uh, the, added, uh, with the added detail the mod provides. Also, look at how there is sort of this center cylinder and when you expand it, it sort of naturally integrates in the rounded variant. Now the rover variant looks a little bit like this, and yeah, there is more detail and there is more basically just to enjoy. Same with the cupola model. Not sure I'm a fan of, of the thing being white up top, I really enjoyed the, the, the dark theme because it integrated better with the windows, but look at all those handrails we now have. Anyhow, this goes through the entire parts. I will not uh, present you all of the 150 changed parts they did, but what I want to do show you is how much level of de uh, detail and attention they gave to these parts. Look how, how packed these solar panels are. These are the Gigantor XL, and you can now really see the small segments over here. And when you fold them up, they perfectly fit into the packed uh, thing. I'm not sure that is the case with uh, the original stock design, and I would very much be surprised if it were, but this looks really great. Same with batteries, they now have a different look to them. They no longer look like uh, some Duracell knockoff, uh, and they're called now Gemline battery and not Batman, but yeah. Not sure if you care about that type of thing, but yeah. Also here, way more detail and depth to it without changing the colliders of the model, meaning everything you could do with the previous parts, like attach it to something or bump into them or whatever, is now also possible with the new ones. And of course we have our small extender panels, yeah, that's... Almost the same, but still very nice. And the large solar panels. Yeah, they changed the texture over here to make it look more realistic, basically. What I do want to show you, finally, are the reaction wheels. Now, we have... Let's start with the big one. There we go. Or maybe let's... Let's just remove all of this so we have a clearer picture of what's going on. So I'm going to switch this over so we have a better look. There we go. Look at that, there's way more, way more inside than was before. 
And we have sort of three of these gyroscope modules, or what you want to call it. And now here's, here's the fun thing. If you now take the next smaller one, it fits right in. And we only now in this one have two of these gyroscope modules, basically. So even without the size difference, you have sort of a functional difference uh, in there. And then the smallest one fits right into the design language and it has smaller uh, gyroscope thingies. I think they are supposed to be gyroscopes. I have no idea how a reaction wheel is const uh, constructed in real life, but it sure looks nice. And what you really can do is, is sort of insert a probe core in here. There you go, you have our probe, we have our probe core. Also see-through now and you see way more what's going on. This is way more involved than the original. And it now fits nicely into this uh, reaction wheel. So there is so much level of detail and so much uh, thought that went into this mod that I usually don't do, hey, look at this thing, single mod videos, but uh, the, the comprehensive way this was done, I mean, look at that rover uh, thing, that rover base, the rove mate, uh, way more detail on it. And now you can way more easily discern whether or not uh, it is on the right orientation because that black bar, tells you. Okay, so what can we do with this? Well, <laughs> nothing that we can't do with the original Kerbal Space Program, but it is very much appreciated that they put so much effort into this. I mean, I'm really, really fascinated how this went. Heat shields also have been changed. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And we even have different variants for heat shield. They could be black, they could be unpainted, classic i mean very very nice this really calls for some beautiful designs going on and now this is also something nice the shroud of the heat shield that was really one of the points i hated with the original game because this kind of stuck out for unknown reasons and you also now have color coded stack separators not as um as in your face as the original ones, but way uh, better than the just tiny subtle arrows you have on the stock parts. So we're going to do this and then we're going to attach something nice. One of the adapters, the Rockamax adapters that in, in original looked almost like this and now it looks like that. And a small tank. Yeah, this, this is really just uh, just cobbling together parts. Can make it really dark. There you go. And then let's let's use the new swivel one and let's make it a boat tail. But then we need to do this white because otherwise it would not really fit, right? Okay, uh, let's also decouple this. There we go. And then let's add a fairing, which is now we're coming with a white fairing base. Look at that. This is really, really great. Now we can close this. Black and white looks like this. And gray and orange looks like just orange. <laughs> okay, now let's keep it white and let's move this. Let's add a big tank to it. Yes, now, ooh, look at that. We now have these pipes going on on the side and we have it in orange and we have it in black or metal. Let's add a beautiful mainsail to this because why not? And make it a boat tail. Well, if we make it a boat tail, then we need to make this metal. Otherwise it doesn't fit right. And this is now basically what will take this here into orbit. Maybe some winglets for added control. And let's try if this works. All right, let's get to it. Okay, and this is how it looks in flight, basically. So it's nothing special, you know, you know the drill. Did they also change the plume of the mainsail? 
Huh, I, I really need to look into that because this looks really nice. Let's get rid of that. Oh yes, they've changed the plumes. I definitely remember that the LV, uh, for LVT45 did not have this kind of engine plume. Now, this is an additional bonus. I haven't uh, realized that they also did this. And there we go. We separate our capsule. And now, I think this is going to be nice. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, look at that! That's some real parachutes going on. I mean, I'm not talking about the real shoots, the other mod, but those are nice looking parachutes. Okay, we're coming through the uh, cloud layer, which is another mod, by the way, but you know about that one. And look at those spread shoots. Now, this is what Kerbal Space Program really is supposed to look like, at least in my opinion. Now, that was nice. Really, really nice. So, I don't know what much else I could tell you about this other than that I really like how this mod turned out and I really like how it enhances the playing experience when you have that uh, well of an integrated design language going on. So, I mean, those uh, those uh, mammoth engines, for instance, yeah, they, they completely look completely different even though they almost look the same so this is a very interesting experience you know you have also orange variants for these s3 parts i mean it would have been nice if the engine uh, could have also been uh, put into that color but it isn't but yeah basically this is uh, what you can do with this mod and how it looks like and I really recommend you to uh, check this out and see what you can get going on because this makes for some very interesting design language. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you can enjoy the mod if you try it out. If you can't try it out, if you're on console, I'm very sorry for you. But there is an update coming that should get you some new stuff going on. I'll link to it in the description below. And with that, I once again thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.